Hello and welcome to my showcase of my safe house in here in um, Giondri. Don't know how to pronounce it, so pff, bear with me. Once I was here leveling up for um, stuff, and um, I gave up to level thirty, which is what I wanted. I wanted to um, name a particularly special um, sword I had, uh, the Aquatic Rogue, and I was just on my way back. It was night. Now I'm just going to have that egg. Since it was night, there was a lot of mob spawning in this area. <sighs> of course, that wasn't no problem, because I was fighting like night and day to get these levels, and I was okay with it. However, I died. And it frustrated me, because it took me like really like a long time to get those levels. And it took me even longer to like get that particular sword that I wanted. Um, but that was lost. Lost to the times of ages and whatnot. So, um, I had to like get something else. So, uh, with this competition that came up, a safe house here in this very dangerous world, I thought, you know, I'll give something to the community and see what happens. And so I created the Rester's Tomb. Probably a little um, uh, eerie. Uh, but um, if you follow those directions, then you come up to this um, area here. Now notice it's kind of like locked up. You know, even if you're just here, you know, you have like a chest full of resources that you might need to just like nerd pole, but you know, you don't really need that because you can just pull the switch here and here we go. Close this one here and it closes up. You're now safe. If it's night time, you can just like sleep in this bed and it'll become daytime, you know, if you're the only person on the server. Uh, I made this room here to be small and compact to have all of your basic needs. Anvil, uh, furnace, two, one for cooking all, one for cooking meat if you need it. Crafting table, well, because um, a chest for general storage and an ender chest. You can put your items into here and they're completely safe. So long as you have a second ender chest somewhere else, it's basically like a teleportation transportation device. I'm sure you know about it. It's really convenient, really easy. Uh, and you know, you notice I'm a little low on health, uh, food, like free bars, free um, chicken legs, whatever. So I have this tree farm, melons, and wheat farm. So uh, you just cut down the trees and replant them. If you, that's all I ask. Replant what you take. You know you can just take the wheat. Just like you would in any other. I just like killed some juvenile plants there. I'm a monster. Yeah. Replant what you take, and you know you have still like some seeds left over, which is like you know great instant profit or what that all of it about. I'm sorry, I'm not really speaking properly today. Uh, and then you can just like put it there. Crafting table here for like making wheat. You know, really simple, really compact. Everything's convenient, and then you can eat over to here as well. But if you haven't got enough food, then you can just take some melons, lovely juicy blocky melons. And then you can just like eat that. That's great. There's some seeds left in there as well, or you can just like convert them to seeds, you know how that works. But it's meant to be quite self sufficient in here. And you know, say that you came back, you have like quite a lot of levels that you want to use, but you're too afraid to go out. The enchanting table room. So if you have enough levels, you can sort of like um, use it here. Of course, I haven't got enough levels, so uh, that sucks. So what I can do is I can just sort of like break these down. Okay, yeah, I just ignore that cake over there, okay? Um, <laughs> so yeah, I took all the bookcases out and I can do a level one for just something like cheap and easy. And I have sharpness one. Not too shabby, but I have a much better sword over at my place at Vizdval. And you know, uh, if you want like more, then I have like a load of bookcases here that uh, people can use. Cover that up cake just you never saw it it's a lie oh ha ha how original and that's just there okay yeah that's great just don't steal okay i hate it when people steal and of course you know if you want to like rename it anything you can you got like some things left over that you can just like enchant it over here as well there's also one here as well but you know it's all about convenience. Now, is it safe to go outside? That's what this watchtower is for. Acts kind of like a lighthouse if your render distance is far enough. Now, I can see it's night time. 
And I can see there's quite a lot of skeletons out there. I can actually see one that has an enchanted bow over there. Uh, over on this side, there's a skeleton. Over there, there's a spider. So that's not still a little too dangerous to go outside, perhaps. But um, yeah, you can just use that for your own purposes. You can also use it to see if it's daytime. Like I said, you know, if you're the only one on the server, that you can just really sleep, and then it becomes daytime. Well, I'm not the only one on the server, but you get the idea. And when you're done, you just sort of like open up and then close down, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to wait in here until it's safe. It's really compact, really convenient. Um, I, I've made it, I used to have doors here, but I really got annoyed with the doors, so I just took them off. You know, it's really compact, really convenient for people to use. It's like a really great place, you know, got temporary storage, got pretty much everything that you could ever want. Apart from a pig farm, but you know, the melons and the wheat are more than self-sufficient. So yeah, free for people to use, and I hope you um, enjoy using it to save your own skin. Bye!